For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Dexter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this problem where you want to determine the horizontal and vertical components of reaction at beam A and the reaction on the beam at C. So basically, you know that you have this force coming down. Therefore, you know that this one is going to react up. Let's call it F. That's an ugly F. F. And you know you're going to have reactions at A. Now at A, let's assume we have a AY going up. And let's assume AX is going to the left. AY and ax why is ax going to the left because as you can see f is going to the right so ax has to react to the left i don't know if ay will react up or down but let's assume up and see what happens so you want to start by calculating the sum of the moments at a is equal to zero let's assume clockwise is positive now why a because if we start at a right off the bat we cancel ax and ay and you can find f so some of the moments at A is equal to zero and are equal to the moment B created by this force. Now this force has two components, an Fy component going straight up and an Fx component. Let's call this Fy. Let's call this Fx. Now the Fx is creating no moment because the stream is aiming straight away from the point. Now Fy is aiming 90 degrees, so it's creating all the moments. So it's Fy times, and it's turning the lever arm that goes from A to C, which is 1.5. So it's times 1.5. And it's negative because we're saying that clockwise is positive, and that's creating a counterclockwise moment. So it's negative. Plus the moment that the 4K is creating. So the 4 kN force is creating a moment of 4K times the distance from A to B which is 30 meters. So as you can see, we have this equation and only one variable. Let's put a question mark. So all you got to do is solve for Fy. And you're going to find that Fy is equal to 8 kilonewtons. And that's the Y component. Now, as you can see, we see this triangle right here. It has a length of 1.5 times 1.5. So you know that this angle right here, let's call it theta. You know that theta is equal to the tangent inverse of 1.5 over 1.5. When you never you have uh, the tangent inverse of 1, like in this case, the angle is 45 degrees. I don't really need to do this calculation. I'm just showing it for some of you guys that are very picky with my videos. I see your comments, guys, so you know. Okay, so if the angle is 45 degrees, that means that the y component and the x component are the same. So f of x is equal to 8 kilonewtons. If you want a mathematical explanation of why, that means because f uh, f sine of theta is equal to f of y. We have f of y, you plug it in, and you know that theta is 45. You plug it in, you solve for f, and you will be able to get the force. And once you get that force to calculate the x component, you, you do f of x is equal to f cosine of theta, which is the same as f of y. If you wanted a mathematical explanation, that's how you would do it. Now, that being said, we need to find a, AX and AY. So to find those, we do some of the forces in the X is equal to zero. You know that AX is going to the left plus F of X, which is going to the right, is equal to zero. So AX is equal to eight kilonewtons. And last but not least, sum of the forces in the y is equal to zero. So you got <clears throat> ay going up plus f of y going up minus 4k is equal to zero. We got a f of y, we found it. So you solve for ay, you plug in f of y right here, and you solve for ay, and you get that ay is equal to negative 4k. So as you can see, our original assumption was wrong, and in reality, that means that ay is equal to 4k, but it's going down not up like we did right here so our diagram will look something like this we got f right here and we have 
E4K right here. So this would be AX, AY, F, and E4K Newtons. So as our diagram will look in the end, we gotta correct it. But that will be the final answer for AY, final answer for AX, F of X, and F of Y. If you wanted to find F, all you will have to do is right here, plug in F of Y, plug in 45 for the angle, you're gonna get that F is equal to F of Y, which is 8K, divided by the sine of theta, which is 45. You plug that into your calculator, because you got F of Y and you got the angle, and you're gonna get that the angle is 11, I mean, not the angle, the force will be 11.3 kilonewtons, just in case you wanted to know the exact reaction. F of y, so final answer for that. And if you wanted in x and y components, this is the final answers. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems, and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.